With a traditional structural plan, you're not going to get very far without a grid system. This video's objective is to use our architectural underlay to set up a grid system. I'm going to get started by jumping into Revit, and I'm going to open up my Structure 06. Or, obviously, you can use whatever structural model you have. I'm going to go down to Level 1, Structural Plan. And in my Properties, I'm going to scroll down until I find Discipline. Instead of Structural, I'm going to temporarily turn this back to Coordination. I'm going to click Apply. For my Detail Level, I'm going to set it to Fine. Now I'm going to set up my grids. What I want to do is put my grids right on the center lines of these walls. So I'm going to go to my Structure tab. I'm going to click on the Grid button right here. Now on my Draw panel, I'm going to click on my Pick Lines button. My offset's going to be zero. Now I'm going to scroll in really close to this wall. I'm going to hover over the center line of it, and I'm going to go ahead and pick it right there. If I zoom out, I'm going to grab Grid Line 1 and grab that grip and move it up. Notice that grids are very similar to levels where we can actually split it out, put it back. We can actually turn our grid bubble on or off. I like this one, so I'm going to keep it at one. Now what I want to do is copy these down. So I'm going to go ahead and select grid line one. The first thing I'm going to do is go down to the bottom and notice that I have another little bubble down here. I'm going to pick this bubble. I'm going to drag it down. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to select grid line one, and I'm going to click on my copy button. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to get this toolbar right here. This is what's called the options toolbar. So I'm going to click on constrain. I'm going to click on multiple. Basically constrain is your ortho command for all you AutoCAD users. I'm going to select grid line one right up about here somewhere. I'm going to go ahead and pick it. Now I'm going to start going to my right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to the center line of this wall, to this wall, to this wall. I'm going to scroll in. I'm going to go to the center line of this wall. And at the very end, I'm going to scroll in, and I'm going to go to the center line of this wall. Now I'm going to hit Escape a couple times. We have our grid lines established. I'm going to select grid line 6. I'm going to right click and I'm going to create similar. On my draw panel, I'm going to make sure that I have my line command picked. I'm going to scroll in here and I'm going to come right to the end point of this wall. You see where the curved wall stops? So I have two end points. I'm going to pick this end point. I'm going to scroll out. I'm going to come straight up. I'm going to pick a point right here. Now I'm going to hit Escape. I'm going to select Grid Line 7. I'm going to pick this bubble. I'm going to drag it all the way down. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on the Show Bubble button. I've got 1 through 7. Okay, now what I'm going to do is my horizontals. So I'm going to right-click on Grid Line 1. I'm going to create Similar. On my Draw panel, I'm going to click on my Pick Lines button. I'm going to scroll in here, and I'm going to pick the center line of this horizontal wall. Once it's picked, you see you have a little bubble. So I'm going to pick the bubble, and I'm going to drag it out to about here. I'm going to turn on my Show Bubble button. I'm going to drag it out maybe a little bit more. And since it's blue, I can click on it one more time and edit it, and it's going to be a capital A. I'm going to hit Escape a couple times. I'm going to come down to this end. I'm going to select grid line A. I'm going to pick the bubble. And I'm going to drag it out to about here. Hit Escape. Now I'm going to do some multiple copies on this one. So I'm going to select grid line A. I'm going to click on the Copy button. Constraint and Multiple are both turned on. I'm going to zoom into here, and I'm going to pick a point like right about here, right about here. I'm going to pick that point. I'm going to come down to the center line of this wall, to the center line of my corridor wall, to the center line of this wall, 
I'm going to pick the center line of this ball, but we're going to have to do something special with this. I'm going to pick here, and then one more. I'm going to come down to the very bottom and pick here. A, B, C, D, E, F. Now what I'd like to do is come over here. I want this to be in alignment with that wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Align command. So I'm going to go to my Modify tab, and I'm going to click on the Align button. Now, the first item I want to pick is going to be the item I want to align to. So I'm going to pick this wall right here. I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to pick on my horizontal grid reference. Now it's aligned. I'm going to hit Escape a couple times, and that's right where I want it. Let's add a couple more around the curved area here. So I'm going to right-click on column line B. I'm going to create similar. Now on my draw panel, I'm going to use my pick lines button again, but this time I'm going to give it an offset of six inches. Make sure it's not six feet. I'm going to scroll in here and I'm going to offset it inside of the building six inches. So I'm going to pick this point. I'm going to hit escape a couple times. Now I'm going to select this grid. I'm going to pick this bubble and I can drag it in. Notice I can turn on the bubble. And I can drag this one in. And I can either give that a break, I can move it up, or do whatever I want with it. Now I'm going to hit Escape. Two more. I'm going to right-click on column line B. I'm going to create similar. I'm going to keep my line button picked. But the problem is I want to get the center line of this grid. And when I snap in here, I'm not sure I can trust that. So if you type SC for Snap Center, Hover over grid line G, notice that your center icon will show up. Once you see that, pick it. Now notice, I can snap to 45 degrees, so I'm going to put a point right about here. Now I'm going to hit escape a couple times. Now I'm going to select column line H, and I'm going to click on this button right here. This is mirror pick axis. I'm going to click on this center line right here. Now I'm going to hit escape a couple times. Now I want to rename this, so column line H, I'm going to select it, select it again. It's going to be capital B.1, hit enter. And this one here is going to be capital D.9, hit enter. And there we have it. We've got our grid all set. 